Hey guys, this is Daff Raptor, and today we're back with more Jurassic World Evolution. I thought I, thought I might as well continue the series, so let's get right on with it. So last episode, if you didn't know, we made a new exhibit with our um, Sauropelta and Deinonychus, as well as expanding, oh, not expanding, but like, you know, talking about the other exhibits, the Sinoceratops and the Struthium Mimus. Today, we're finally going to build a big exhibit with the big carnivore, and since none of you commented on my video, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna put a carnivore of my choosing in there, because why the hell not? Actually, I wanna make it like electric. Because <laughs> we are dealing with a carnivore here, like a big, big boy. Big dinosaur, so we have to make it a big exhibit. Uh, I don't know if I should say, I, I wanna thank you all for, my, for the support, because there isn't really that much supporting going on. I'm just kind of doing this just because I can. But, you might as well continue on with the ride, right? So, out of the big carnivores we're going to use today, uh, I'm not sure which one I actually do want to use. But fortunately, it won't be that hard. So I'm going to use the, um, the big carnivore, I don't use, like, I use the least. And that big carnivore, is uh oh well, let's just where is it it's here we're going to use the giganotosaurus in our old giant carnivore exhibit it wasn't very hard because i haven't used the giga in a long time and i thought you know what let's give it some love now, what I'm thinking for a Giga exhibit is that since it lived in South America, like, 75 million years ago, I'm thinking we should give it some good old forests. And a couple hills, and I'm thinking a little bit of, like, lowish terrainy rivers. So let's get right, to, let's get right into it, really. Can get over here, it's nice for the Giga. Just guess he needs to, like, rest, do whatever he needs to do. Put some hills over here. We're gonna smooth it out a bit because we want to make sure our dinosaur is happy with the environment. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna lower this a little bit here, make like a little little lakey area. You no, know, just for him. Smooth it out a little bit. Oh yeah, that's what I call a bit of an exhibit for the Giga. So yeah. Now, this this won't be the only big carnivore in the park, don't worry. I have plenty more planned. Oh. Okay. But this this is the one that I thought should get the most love, or the love for this episode. So let's put a live feeder bait. And finally, let's actually get the gigas themselves in the bait or in the house. I think we should put just a bunch of speed. Just get get these guys out as fast as possible. Uh, where should watch watch the gigas? Yeah, well, hmm, hmm. Give it, give one a tiger pattern. And we'll give one uh, a rainforest pattern. Why not? Oh, it's too expensive. Okay. Well, the Giga was way too expensive, obviously. How much was the Giga anyway? Uh, two million. So he basically blew up all of our cash for one dinosaur. Hopefully, it's worth it because our park needs expenses and kind of fast. Oh wait, I forgot, um, Sauropelta, they fight for turf. That was pretty weird, and they're panicking. That's pretty cool, that's a pretty cool looking exhibit. <clears throat> so of course, while our Giga is waiting, um, 
I'm just going to tell you guys how much fun it is really for me to record. It isn't that much fun, but I still get to hang out with you guys. Not really hanging out, more like talking to myself as an attempt to talk to you guys. But still, still, I have fun with it. And that's kind of what matters for me anyway. I hope to grow this eventually into a much bigger channel as I've said about in the past. I like, I, like the, I like these plant designs, they actually look pretty cool. Are there any goats in this like little exhibit for the big guy to eat? Because he's... oh he's almost there. He's almost there. Alright, let's, let's take a look at our new exhibit. Let's see if we can find Dionicus anywhere. There's a Sora Pelters. You're making the Lophosaurus sounds! I don't like... It's so loud. Oh, bastards. Um... The Struthi Mimuses, they're pretty okay so far. All the little greenies, and then we just have... A Stru, like the big bluey. The big blue one in the middle. Hopefully... Like, the sound aren't too loud, because that'd be a bit catastrophic. Because you can't hear my annoying voice. The Giga is almost ready. And we ready in about five, four, three, two, one. All right, I'll shut up and let you guys watch this little intro cutscene. Alrighty, that's our Giganotosaurus in our park. Let's take a look through the, uh... Through the viewing gallery. Very nice. I hope we can catch up eating a goat. That would be pretty cool. I think he's going off to eat a goat. Well, he's running into the forest area. I think he found a goat. Is there... I think he knows. But we'll just get one out. Oh no, he already knows. This poor goat is gonna have a very bad... Very bad time. Do you actually even like your exhibit? Okay, he he likes it. Little nice Giga environment. Oh wait, I I, th I think I think he's going for it. Yep, he's going for it. Actually, let's, let's get let's get like a uh, what should we call it? Let's go into capture mode and capture this moment. Make it like really thick lines. And we'll just get him going. That was pretty cool. Alright, so. Oh, we just got 3 million. Oh my. <laughs> okay, we can afford that second giga now. Let him into this new and little environment. But now, we must think to the future for this little park area. And we must go a bit more forwards around around here-ish. It was like, I'm thinking we'll put like the innovation center. Dead gob smack right in the middle. We'll put, uh, we'll put a couple exhibits around here. Like maybe one or two. And then I'm thinking for... Okay, okay yeah, sure. I'm thinking for here. Right here, we're just gonna have a giant safari, just filled with dinosaurs, or at least as filled with as, with as many as I can put into the exhibit. That's a friend, big guy. But now we have to kind of expand upon 
what we have. So we have to get obviously a entertainment or like innovation center. And of course we have to have a fancy pathway that goes straight down. Just like in Jurassic World. And we go. Now we'll put that like there. And I have to put that there. No power, but I just have a power. Oh, okay. Smith the fence. It's fine if it doesn't have any power. Just kind of like. Uh, I think the geek is too happy with this environment to really care. But that is an indication that we should probably start building another like substation so we'll put one like we'll put another power station around here -ish. oh my we really have to worry about our expenses here doggo my dog is scratching at our door and it's it's, it's kind of annoying but she that's what, that's what she just does and now she's back hello dog you're pretty cute We'll cover this up with trees. I don't like how it's exposed. It's got like a little... Oh, a little smidget section. Alright. So now that all this here is... hooked up and like, wired up... And this is about to become... Well, yeah, it's still under construction, but when this is gone... We'll get building a little, uh, little area over here. Alrighty. Put one there. We'll put another little building here. Um, the bar, we'll put, we'll put this here as well. Clothes shop. And yeah, we've got, we've got a little main street. I think, I think it's pretty good. I forgot how loud this game is, Jesus. Sorry, but like, the audio is just way too loud. There we go. A little, little main street here. But, okay, we have, we have to continue around here -ish. Just look at, look at this little park we're building. We got about uh, five? Yeah, five dinosaurs. Oh, we can release our newest Giga. Watch as its roar will be heard like, in the background. This is a very... I think this punk's coming along pretty well. You, my friend, have a very loud roar. But we must... we must continue our park. And now we must make new exhibits. Now over here, we should have a little. We should have an exhibit here. Um. Hmm. I'm thinking. Shouldn't be too bad to put down some electric fences. Just, just smallies, not really big ones. You don't really need big ones for this dinosaur. I'll put some trudons in here. Trudons are the venomous dinosaurs. The little buggers. Very awkwardly shaped exhibit, but uh, it'll do. It'll do. It'll little 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 do. I'll just put that there. 
Oh my, it's just, it's basically on the thing. But, at least the park is all hooked up. Is all my concern. But now let's just, let's just um, attach the viewing platform. Boom. Get the hatching bay, hatchery, incubation, ham incubation lab. I really don't like how it's just completely destroyed essence of the shape. The, the, the essence. I'll just, I'll just make it go straight forward. Alright, there we go. Uh, we'll just hook this up. Of Trudons. Okay, we're two and a half stars now. Last video I actually said that we were two and a half and we're trying to get the two stars. So I was actually just one and a half stars. Hook that up there. Uh, we'll just... Put one of these. Now, one obvious thing I'm going to need to do soon is put a monorail station. Because I think my guests kind of need to transport around the park. So, I'm going to have to put that in pretty soon. But besides that, we're actually all pretty hunky-dory in terms of what we need to fully create. So, I'm going to have to, like... Just put a couple trees around here. I, I like to cover it up, you know. Puts a bit more atmosphere into the park. And even though, like, in the game, they don't go for aesthetics. Which would be actually pretty cool if they did go for aesthetics. I actually put some trees in your exit. Is that okay? And you're fine with it. Put some aesthetics. At least you Nordis with... A lifespan. Jesus, that's a long living dinosaur. Hmm. Wait, what? What the? Oh, no. Okay, we have, we have a breakout. We have an asset out of containment. Oh, Jesus. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. We have a problem. We have a very big problem. Oh Jesus. We got a breakout, we got a big breakout. Uh, Jesus. They're all over here though. I'm gonna put some extra upgrades on our helicopter. Reload. I didn't think that they were actually trying to break out. Oh, crap. Uh, no, wait, L1, add task, tranquilize him, and him. Oh, Jesus, oh, jeez. Is anyone, like, dead? Or are there any casualties? None, okay. No, no casualties. I don't think we can keep you anymore because you're you're being a bit of a nuisance, Mr. Sora Pelter. I didn't know that his like. Wait. Oh. <laughs> okay. Uh. Oh no. Oh, crap. Okay. We have a casualty. Uh, Jesus, that was not good. That was not good. I was admiring the beauty of my park for about two seconds, and all of a sudden a dinosaur breaks out and kills everything. Yeah, I got a lot of free power up to spare. 
Uh, how much did we go down by in terms of, okay. Moderate. How many people got hurt? The hell? Crap, dude. Crap. That was not good. That was not good. Oh no. Oh no, no, no. Oh jeez, Rick. I'm, so, I'm sorry. I'll never do it again. Okay, let's hook this up. Hook it all up. Okay. Boom. Okay, that's all hooked up. Now I just have to like... There we go. Now, we just, oh my god, that, that breakout was so unexpected. I didn't know that my sword pelters were unhappy with, oh my god, what the hell. I'll put some tiny Trudons in the exhibits. I think Trudons would be a great addition, just because they're so tiny and small. Keeping a close eye on that exhibit now. Keeping a very close eye on that exhibit because of what just happened uh, at 10 events. Not, wasn't very good. What? Very bad. Very, very bad. Oh boy. Oh, oh no. Oh no, no, no. So we have a little, little, little dip. Oh jeez, I, I just can't believe that that actually happened though, that the Dynonicus broke out and just ate people for fun. Well, not really for fun, but... Still. You okay? Are you all fed up? Yeah, you're all, you're all good. We're all good over here in the park. Kinda. We have about three electric fences. Two of them are unelectric. I should probably electrify this fence. Oh, there's a storm incoming. That's always great. Okay, there you go. And now we have to get everyone inside the bunkers. Ah, oh, crap, I forgot about you. Okay. This is not gonna end well. Should I let them out? Yes, yes I should. I'll shut up for a minute. As you can see, Trudon is a very small dinosaur. That's why I think he'll be okay in this habitat. It, okay, it's just okay. It's, it's just happy with it. It's a little, little environment. Okay. It's still there. Okay, just... It's all okay. Everything's all good. We're all good in the park.
The first thing you do after going into a storm is just take a nap. Not gonna lie, I would do that as well. Okay, how many Trudons do we actually even have? We've got, we've got three so far. I'd rather not have another breakout happen. Please welcome a Trudon to the park. Alright. So next is a bit, we're, we're gonna have a Guanadon and Trudon. No, uh, a Guanadon and Dreadnoughtus, because we already have a Trudon. Why would we want to put back another animal inside of... Because we already have, that's dumb. Just, just, just forget about that. Um, this park's looking. I'm, I'm liking this park at the moment. I'm really liking this park. And just to make sure the guests can fully see the Trudons, we're gonna put a meat, meat feeder there. Put, put a casual little meat feeder. Uh, they're happy with it, but I'm a bit hesitant to put more in there. So I'm going to just not put more in there. I keep it a pretty small minimum. But let's get some herbivores in the park, am I right? We, have, we haven't got a couple of those in a while. And plus, you've, you've had your fair share of carnivores. Okay. I think it's time for us to branch out a bit. Can't just call this carnivore park. As we literally can't because we have herbivores. But still, can't just call ourselves carnivore park. We have to change it up sometimes. A little bit of a set route here. So we're going to. I hear the angry sounds. We're gonna put Iguandon and Dreadnoughtus in the same exhibit. So I don't think we have to put too high maintenance as long as it's good enough to hold them. Is, you know, that's what I'm worried about. Uh, boom, 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 boom. And... Can I not put it there? Why can't I put it there? It's stopping me! Okay, whatever. I'll just... Just put it there, you know? I'll just, I'll just, put, it, just put it right there. Just gotta just go with the flow. Just gotta go with Ziflo. It's kind of. I'm trying to make this interesting, but it's really hard to because now I'm actually concentrating at the moment because of the turn of events that transpired, and now the fact we have about three to four carnivores in pretty low maintenance cages. I think I'm kind of stroking my own weenie here, thinking that I can keep these guys in a cage. But, we'll just roll with it for now, I guess. I'm trying to put as many animals in the park as I can. But it's really hard, because now I have to like, keep watching on the other animals. Let's just keep going along around here. Now, this, this is where the giant safari will be. Boom, boom. Boom. So yeah, I think in this exhibit, I, th I think in this park's coming along pretty dandy. Pretty, pretty dando. So might as well have a couple Dreadnoughtus in there. Because we actually have to have one of those in there. Huh. It's not showing the normal symbol, is it like... Not gonna work? Something else gonna... Yep, no power. So wait, what's the problem? Let's not get enough power. I'm gonna play. A, I'm gonna put a risky move, and I'm gonna go get 
a large power station. That's gonna leave a dent. But yeah, I'm thinking we should just we should just make a little exhibit quickly. I'm gonna just quickly get it over and done with. Alright, I'm liking this little park we've got. I'm really liking it. Just look at it from up here. Like from over here. Look at that. Oh yeah. That's what I call a amazing amazing stuff. So after my country on this exhibit, I'm gonna I'm gonna end it right here. I'm gonna end it there. Cause I think we've spent uh, uh, enough time. And luckily Everything seems to be peaceful in the park. You guys, I'm looking at you. I think you're the one that got a kill, right? You're the one that killed? No, one of you killed. Oh, you killed, you little turd. Um, Alright. So, great safety, great capacity. <coughs> uh, poor variety, eh? But yeah, I'm just gonna quickly. Okay, it's it's still getting made. Still getting made. Just give it a minute. Alright, so now we're gonna add projection 3. We're gonna just quickly do improved output. Gonna have that, gonna have that good stuff. But yeah. So we have to have success rate for hatchery capacity and incubation speed 4. Now let's get started. We have to get a dread nordus. A dread nordus. This guy's a bit of a long neck boy. How many, like, what's the social requirements? It's like one to three, yeah. Uh, I'll go with jungle pattern. Oh, I forgot, we have to modify their life genomes. How long do they live for? Uh, just modifying it up actually is pretty. Unique. Gonna go over the- I actually don't really modify my dinosaurs that much, because I don't really see the point. But we'll put... Put a lot of that. That's a lot of stuff going, but we still have enough to make more. And while we're at it, we might as well make our iguanodons a bit more different. Get them the step pattern. Hmm. Solitary. Do you want like, I don't know if I want to get like cross species or a single species. But I'm thinking we should make it a bit less, a bit more grassland. Like a lot, a lot more grassland. Stress, stress inhibitor. Ooh, we can make so that like it's it gets really stressed out, but the I'm a I'm gonna go a bit dangerous here, and I'm gonna let him have a bit more stress. Okay. We, we, we did a bit of a risky, doing a bit of a risk there. We made dinosaurs a bit more stressful, so that obviously means that we're gonna have much more problems with that exhibit. Disease contracted. We're at the Trudons, eh? Okay. 
And while you're at it, go resupply that. Alrighty, now we're gonna go... Boom, boom, and we're gonna get... Dum, dum! There we go! This little Trednotus. Oh my god, my Iguanons are just getting ready like crazy. They're getting ready to just get out and go. Yeah. Get that. Boom. Uh, what else should we put? We should put like a couple shrubs. I don't know if this is enough to hold the Dreadnoughtus. But it's it's something. So yeah, we'll just go with it. I'll shut up now. Okay, so we got an iguanodon now. Interesting dinosaur. This guy likes to fight back against predators. So this guy's gonna look for about 98 months. And how is it? Okay. He's pretty okay with stress. He likes the exhibit. I'm not sure about the Dreadnoughtus though. It's, I'm actually kind of getting scared now. Uh, if, if, if we really need to, we could just slip around here. Adds a bit more forest, just in case, because I'm not sure about the Dreadnoughtus. But after Dreadnoughtus is released, then we, well, we, we'll let him go to his little area. We'll put a bush down. Put a bit of a bush. A bush. And we'll put the tree feeder over here. Wait, what? Oh, I forgot how you put a gate there. Okay, I'm stupid. That's why I can't make his way over. But, let's put that there. Okay, there you go. Are you okay? Oh, what's that social population? Is it like one? Can you put them by themselves, or...? Yeah, they're okay by themselves. The Dreadnoughtus is almost ready to, uh, to go, to get out there and... ...do stuff. I uh, know. So yeah, maybe, right, we're about to be done with this little video here. I'll upload it and I'll probably record another one right after this. So hold on to your butts because this will be a bit of a bumpy ride. Just, just, just watch. It. Actually, uh, how, how, long, how long until it's done? Uh, we'll, okay, we'll wait. It's a little bit of stock footage because, you know, th there's nothing really I can add to Jurassic Evolution gameplay. It's nothing really special. It's just kind of making a park full dinosaurs. But yeah, so far, we've got a couple species. Hopefully, we can get the three stars thanks to this Dreadnoughtus. Oh, it's so poor variety, dude. What more do you want from me? You know what? I will do it. Two dinosaur victories. Okay. I'll shut up now. Dread notice time.
Not gonna lie, that is the weirdest roar I have ever heard in my life. Ah, oh, crap. Code red, we got a code red. This thing does not like our exhibit. Just, just code red it. Code red. We got a, we got a, we got a code redo. Is that better? Is that better? It's not better! This thing lost its grassland, I thought it was a sauropod. Oh no! What have I dang diddly done? I shrieked myself! Uh, oh, I have to make an outro now. Ah! I don't have to make an outro, but it'd be preferable. Maybe next episode we'll have another cool breakout. Probably not, but it's always good to hope. There we go. Are you happy now? What the? Mmm. Mmm. How about that? How about that? Oh, yep. Right, <sighs> that's that stupid. Okay. Is, is that all good? Are you good with that? Are you, are you good? Are you? <laughs> Mr. Dreadnoughtus, I am not liking your attitude towards my- This- this- this is perfect for you. What are you talking about? You're fine. Apparently not. Okay. Does that smidge it better? Okay. 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 Yeah, how about that? I hate you, Dreadnoughtus. I really do. Sauropods are a pain in the ass to deal with. I swear to God. There. There, are you happy? What do you want from me? <laughs> if I have to, I will, and I'm going to. Okay. But, okay guys, I'll see you guys next time in the next video. Uh, well, whenever that happens next. Probably like right after this one, but I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.